Hello and welcome back to Engineering League. In this video, we will focus on creating earned value charts in Microsoft Excel. In Engineering League, we teach different topics related to project management, civil engineering, and data analysis. If that's something like you're interested in, consider visiting our pages on Instagram or LinkedIn and subscribing to this YouTube channel. In today's video, we will focus on creating real-time earned value analysis charts using Microsoft Excel. Before we get started to creating an earned value chart as you see on your screen, let's define what earned value analysis is and how it contributes to successful project management. Well, earned value analysis is a project management technique that measures project performance and progress in an objective manner. It integrates scope, schedule, and cost dimensions of a project to provide a comprehensive view of project status and performance. Here are some key components and concepts involved in earned value analysis. Number one, plan value or PV. Also known as budgeted cost of work schedule, it represents the budgeted cost for the work plan to be done up to a specific point in time. It is essentially the approved budget assigned to scheduled work. Number two, we have earned value or EV. It is the value of work actually performed up to a specific point in time measured in terms of the approved budget assigned to that work. It reflects the amount of work that has been completed compared to the budget. And last but not least, we have the actual cost. Actual cost is also known as actual cost of work performed. It is the total cost incurred for the work performed up to a specific point in time. It includes all costs, whether direct or indirect, incurred during the execution of a project. So as you can see here on your screen, the blue line represents the planned value. So basically starting from week 1 up to week 50, which is the length or the timeline of the project, this is how our planned value will look like. The blue line in here represents the date when the report was generated. So let's jump right in, creating such charts using Microsoft Excel. The most essential and crucial thing in order to create your earned value charts in Microsoft Excel is to put your data in the right order. So as you can see here, we have the plan value, which is basically the cumulative plan value. So for week one, the plan value is 50, and for week two individually, the planned value will be 80, but since it's added to the value of week 1, the cumulative value for week 2 will be 130. And for week 3 individually, this value will be the difference of these two, which will be 90. But since we are looking at cumulative values in here, this will be 220. This goes on and on up to our last planned week of our project, week 50. Next, we have the earned value. Earned value is basically the percentage completed of the, all the activities in this week times the plan value. So for that one, what we will do is we will multiply this cell into this cell, which is 80% completed, and this will be 80% multiplied by 50, which will be 40. Same applies for the rest of the cells in here. And for the actual cost, these are the values that we will get throughout our project's execution phase. So in other words, the actual cost values are independent of anything and they are directly entered into this table. And for the dates for which we don't have the data yet or, or the future dates, for example, week 31 is a future week and we don't have any type of data, instead of leaving zeros in here, make sure to leave them blank. And in the next step, what I will do is I'll select the time as our x-axis and then I'll hold the shift key and go up to the actual cost then hold control shift and down arrow key so the whole table is selected from here we'll go to insert and we can go from the recommended charts and select the chart or we can go to the line charts in here and select the chart that we are looking for so we will have our earned value chart ready this chart can be further formatted. For example, we can add labels or maybe remove the y-axis or remove this title in here. And also let's remove the lines in here for this one, for the legend. 
let's form with the legend. So I'll, I'll check this part and what I will do is I'll take the legend and take it to pop here and then maybe resize this a little bit and in order to see all of the line labels in here, I'll resize this a little bit more and maybe make the whole chart bigger. And if you wanted to change the colors, for example, let's make this solid line and let's make this, for example, a blue color from here. You can change its uh, thickness from here and any other type of formatting that you would like to see. So this brings us to the end of this video. I hope it was informative and helpful. If you want to see more insights about project management, civil engineering, and data analysis, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and also following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.